to see that shit. I cannot see that. Damn. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Dr. Pam Janelle. Good afternoon. Hi. Welcome. Um, do we have a couple of minutes still or? Oops. We're actually just about to get started. Okay. All right. Well, I will, I will leave some stuff on the printer then. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Should we go ahead, Vice Chair? Yep, we can go ahead and get started. Thank you so much. Okay, good afternoon and welcome to the subcommittee meeting for technical assistance of the governor's interagency advisory council on homelessness to housing. This meeting has been publicly noticed in compliance with Nevada's open meeting law. Vice Chair Brooke Page will call the meeting to order. Great, thank you, Abigail. Good afternoon. Uh, it is 106 and I'd like to call the September 17th, 2024 meeting of the Nevada Interagency Advisory Council on Homelessness to Housing Subcommittee for Technical Assistance to order. Uh, will our moderator, Abigail, please call roll. Absolutely. Chairwoman Michelle fuller Hellauer, Vice Chair Brooke Page. I'm present. Karen Van Hest. Nolga Valides. Austin Pollard. Dr. Pamela Janelle. Present. Chris Murphy. Present. Lorena Limis. Present. Christy Costa. Present. Kimberly Martin. Adrian Babbitt. Present. Julie King. Vice Chair, unfortunately, we do not have quorum. We're missing one more. Okay. So um, with that being said, then we, uh, are we able to do the non-actionable items without quorum? Uh, my advice is always it's best not to. Okay. All right, Dr. Janelle, see your hands raised. Yes. I don't know where my camera is. Oh, there it is. Hi. <laughs> um, good afternoon, everyone. Dr. Janelle, um, kind of not for the record. Uh, there were some items in the last meeting that we were asked to share. Would those be considered non-actionable items? Uh, because I do have some items that we were preparing uh, for the things that we voted on for approval in the last meeting. Can uh, someone um, just advise me of that? Because I'm just still trying to understand the process. Thank you. This is Ryan. Is that a question for me? And, and could yes, you flesh or, a little bit? I don't, I don't understand the question. Okay, so to give an example, at the last meeting, we were asked to provide um, some updates or materials uh, because we've also decided to present at uh, the statewide homeless conference. And I have those materials because they were um, things that were due prior to. So would I be able to share any of that information or should I just uh, use the channels offline that uh, we provided to collect said items? Because those were action items from the previous meeting. Thank you. What, when is it? Are the, you the asking with regards to? Yeah, when's the presentation? Well, um, I'm not presenting, however, I am assisting whoever on this committee will be presenting at the conference in October. Um, there are specific items that this technical assistance committee put together that leads into that. So I have information to share that is offline, but it was requested in previous meetings. So I'm just asking okay. because we don't have quorum, 
would that or would it not be appropriate just to use the channels um, as we were compiling that information to complete that process or could I state something here? Well, it depends how many people uh, are going to be presenting. How many people is this going to be disseminated to that are going to use it? Well, I'm sharing some general information with the committee that uh, we are going to use. However, there are only two individuals that I believe are slated to present, and I'm just um, being a backup singer to the lead singers. I see. <laughs> yes, sir. and that and that presentation is on um, October the eighth. Uh, that is okay. Eighth and ninth. Okay. Really. Yeah, if you have that information, you can go ahead and give it to the two members. Um, what I'm always looking for there is a walking quorum situation. Understood. If that was going to be, you know, five members or something like that, then that would constitute, you know, a walking quorum, which would get us all in trouble. So, you know, as okay. long as it's two, you're good. Okay, thank you. And I do yeah. um, have my champions report, which um, it, they asked me to package it. So I have a package. So I will share that individually <laughs> okay. per request. Thank you for clear. You're so good. <laughs> Ooh, I see why we have you here. I'm sorry, oh, thank you. Dr. Janelle, off the record now. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay, everyone. Well, did any members join us uh, while we were having that discussion? Any any new folks? I didn't see anybody come online. Wishful thinking. Okay. Well, uh, unfortunately, we don't have a quorum, and um, at the advice of our uh dag representative um i believe we are going to go ahead and end this meeting for today um at 1 11 p.m due to not having quorum um any opposition to that dr janelle for the record i i'm very sad about this because i Me made too. it <laughs> i know you're it's here dr janelle everyone yeah. yeah me too yeah, we had a, a pretty good group of folks made time to be here. So we apologize for, for you all uh, and, and the commitment that you made. Thank you. And uh, we will do strive to do better. Our next meeting is slated for October 15th. So we hope we have a, a quorum at that time. All right. Have a great rest of your day. Bye. Thank you all. Thank you all. Bye, Brooke. Bye. Bust. Too bad.